Alright everybody, welcome to the wonderful world of games and today we're going to have a look at the game 198X or 1980X as it might be called and uh, just to check how much this one is currently at this time of writing if we go over here to Aniba um, for Steam key about £1.50ish, £1.50 Euro. But if we go over here to Gamevo, right above my head there, 78 pence. Now, that won't be the exact price. I think if you're a member of Gamevo, a monthly member, you'll get it for about 78 pence. But if you're um, if you're just buying it straight outright, they'll charge you a fee, about 10 pence or 12 pence or something. But it'll still be under a pound anyway. So that's the deal. Anyway, let's get on and play a bit of 1980X. Right, so here we are in the game. We'll just start it. Three minutes starting now. 1980X. So this is a retro style game um, based upon the sort of arcade games you would have played in the 1980s. Great little title. Um, this is one of the games I have played before, so I thought we'd start with something uh, we've done before. So very dramatic music. Right, so I'll skip forward a little bit here now, um, simply because it was a bit of a dramatic game thing. So the first one is a sort of beat em up in the style of sort of Renegade back in the day. Hey! Oh, I get thrown, bitch. Very Streets of Rage. Simple controls. A to jump, or. Yeah, A to jump and. Uh, Beat a punch. Oh, now you're going to get a beat in. Oh, motorbike come and got me. Oh, I'm getting shit kicked on me. Oh, I have to say, I like the music. Good music. Oh. Right, so what I think we'll do is we'll fast forward now to play a little bit extra of the game somewhere else. So that's the first level of the game. Now, what this game is, it does lots of different games. So that's the first part done. And now we'll go and play a separate game based on a game that you would have played in the arcades in the 1980s. So this is the next game that you get to play within 1980X itself. And there's about five or six games in all. So this is like the R-Type clone. So we had the Renegade clone. Now we've got an R-Type clone. Now I'm not going to show you more. I don't want to spoil it all because overall the game is quite short in length but you can see here you get this sort of quality and it's a really good quality it feels good there's nothing janky about it at all it feels like an original arcade game if not if not even a little bit more polished if only i was any good at it but, uh, And the big shit got me. So I think we'll leave it here. I think you've seen enough of about three minutes of the game. So this was 1980X available for, what was it, 78 pence, wasn't it? So this has been Glenn Cheapskate Gaming News Tech Reviews. And we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da now.